Every Friday, we show you the positive stories in Eastern Idaho of people and places we all appreciate. We call it the bright side. And tonight, we start with some adorable horses. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The annual miniature horse show kicked off today at the Eastern Idaho State Fairgrounds in Blackfoot. Horses of all different sizes and colors are separated into classes. Some are judged on the way they look and how they are built, also known as their confirmation, while others are judged on how they handle obstacles. There is no charge to watch the show, which continues through till Saturday. I am excited to see all the kids that are showing horses. I'm showing love to see our club keeps growing each year. And I love to see the horses perform. They are absolutely gorgeous. The horses are just beautiful. Well, I'll have to go check that out. The Grand Marshals have been selected for the Rexburg 4th of July Parade. Melvin and Rama Griffith were married in Logan, Utah in 1957. Melvin is a graduate of Utah State University and taught at Ricks College for 40 years before retiring in 1963. Rama attended Utah State University as well as is a longtime piano teacher and substitute school teacher for the Madison School District. The Griffiths will be leading the parade in Rexburg on July 4th of the parade. Idaho Falls Police honored several local residents this week during their quarterly awards ceremony. Ken and Marla Hensley got the Service Recognition Award for letting officers train in their studio. Chad and Jessica Bateman received the Citizen Certificate for Merit for their help in catching package thieves who stole $1,600 worth of merchandise. And Barry White received the same award for helping an officer during a life or death situation with a criminal suspect. And if you have an idea for the bright side, please send us your send us an email. We're interested in your positive stories about the people and the places of Eastern Idaho. Send them to newsroom at kpvi.com and we will see you on the bright side.